together. Let's have a look over here. And it sounds very beautiful. It's very mastered, this one. Very mastered track, this one. And once you drop all the stem files, you see a long stem file that you made. That way, you can record much better. There we go. Now, the drop I can place at the top. That's all beautiful. You can see, you can see inside the actual, inside the track, where everything is. Once you've rendered the whole track and where everything is going, then you just place, for example, me, I made the actual build up. I only rendered the build up. So I'll just place it here at the end and I'll just even go past the 125 mark just so I can do that for myself. So over here. That's it. So I can do that and I can just make sure no matter what that I see over here make any stem files, making a beautiful version over here for myself. Now since I did make that going, since I, since I didn't do that, I can now, for example, in the outro, what I can do is I can layer it where my actual outro is going and now to lay it over here I can go past it so make sure that I'm in line make sure I'm in line over here as long as it's 3 minutes 20 seconds it's excellent for me that way now from that point I can now render it completely and all I do now is I can start arranging more of my track where everything is going What's all, what else is going to go in my outro it can also be my hat and place a hat file over here let's have a look over here I have a hat file Hat file style, that's that one there. And there we go, it's this one. Since I've done that one, that's beautiful. That's a verse right there. So the verse will go from that point into the outro. Now the outro will be over here, or is it over here? No, it's really, really over here. So I'll leave it over here. Now what I can do is I can drop all of it inside of my actual hardstyle track. I can drop all of it inside of my actual timeline where I actually made my track in the first place. And all I do is I minimize and I can actually see what's going on inside my arrangement. So I minimize everything. That I just done. So I just audio clips. What's happening? So I go into my FL Studio, I drop in all my files into the list, and I'll just create another one because something's going on over here. So I'll just do that all over again. There you go. Now I see what's going on. The tracks are there, everything's there. The build up, build up two, build up three. That can go away for now. As I have the longest stem files. So guys, never mind what I say in terms of my life, you have to realize that I sometimes neglect myself that way. And I realize what I just said. I say, 
no matter what. You have to really mind yourself and you have to really mind what's going on. So please, no matter what, when you say never mind me, that you really see what you're saying there, that you're neglecting yourself in that moment. And just never do that. As I did just then, I just neglected myself for some reason. So just teach someone something that's going to help people. Now, with that said, that's beautiful. Now, I have to put the build up over here. Now, in the build up, what will I have in the build up? The build up can be this way. I can place, for example, I can make it nice and neat for myself. And I can keep it going. To say, hey, at this version over here, at over here, I can cut this, totally cut it. And it's better to do it and then I can make sure that I can have a nice straight line that goes from 112 and I can connect my actual stem files which is now going to be even better for me as it goes just past the 125 point which is for myself on first in my life and that way let's have a look at it Now, I have to keep that going. I have to keep the tambourines going. Now, the tambourines, let's have a look. Tambourines. Tambourines and hats, it's different. Now, I have the hats. The hats. It's the same thing. Do the same thing. Now, what I will do is. I'll cut over here my hat files and I'll have that going into the outro of my track so that I can really, let's say, keep the outro going. And let that be that. And let's have a look over here. This can now be that way. That's that. My, let's have a look over here. So just make sure that when you're cutting something that you cut on the grid line. So I have to record this again. <laughs> I've missed out on some stuff in terms of my recording. And I've experienced the full range anyway, so I have myself anyway. So when I, I have it, I have it going here. I can see what's going on. I'm first in my life. Let's see what's going on. Now pitch kick arrangement. I can go into the outro. It'll be the one bar, right here. Now. In terms of my outro, it can just be this one here. One, two, three, and one, two, three, four, right here. I can just repeat the outro, why not? As the outro is repeated anyway. So that makes sense. I've learned some stuff over here as well, in terms of how to do my track better. So what I'll do the next time around is I'll make sure to export all my stem files in one range sessions to see what exactly is going everywhere so I never have to cut it again inside of this range let's have a look and now from that point I'll do this and you have to realize that before you finish and start your track in terms of before you finish your master track make sure that you put the volume to start your track at slow speed in terms of 
boost the volume slowly so it never just starts off otherwise it can clip so what does that mean? It just goes through fast, make sure that it's a nice smooth transition inside and outside always in your tracks. So that way. And this part, pull. Let's see what's going on over here. What is that? Actually doing that. Mm -hmm. Now, see that that's starting together, so that's excellent. It's supposed to start together. In terms of my hats, that's excellent. Now, I, I remember that I actually left the kick over here. So I just let it continue. <laughs> I let it continue, that's it. And also, in the outro, I have the outro over here. And what I did do, I actually placed the actual drop with these stem files over here. So that way, let's have a look. So saying that, I can do that. I can totally do that. It can be a shorter track. Why not? It could be a shorter track. In this point, pull. Let it be that. That's the way. Now I remember what I was doing. Let it be that way. That's the way. I remember what I was doing. So when I was doing my actual outro, I was doing it with the hats. And then I placed my outro outside the hats and I left a gap inside the middle of the outro and I was saying, what's gonna be in here? It'll be my build up. So I placed the build up back in where, where, where it is inside the hats and the kick. Now over here, And just let it be that way. That way. There we go. So for this, the hats can die off over here. So that's a four bar, that's four bars right there. One, two, three, four, right here. So one, two, three, four, right there. My hats can die off from the outro. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, right here. And place a cut here, and I can just say goodbye, and now, And what I suggest is put the pitch volume of your tracks, for example, automate your stem files so that you, let's say, you automate it so it just collides with going out of the track very slowly. So what I'll do is I'll do that over here. I'll put a pencil marker so I can actually 
So I can place my real automation clip to just decline in volume throughout the, the actual outro so it goes out smoothly. Beautiful, that's beautiful right there. I love that. So then also what I do is I do that for the hats as well. I'll do the same for the hats. So it goes one, two, three, four. The first four bars. One, two, three, four. And I'll also just press the one, two, three, four. I'll press the actual pencil mark. Make sure you finish off your sentences before you actually say something else. Let's have a look over here. And make sure that your volume is the same length as the one that you, for example, may have done in another instrument. So say with my going out of my track in terms of my style, what I do is I live inside. So my track is going out of the track. My musical track, that is my kick, is a 10% decline. So make your hats also 10% decline in volume in the same fashion. So make your volumes go in the same fashion out of your track. That's what I'll say. Here it is. So I'll increase it to 10%, the same as I did with my kick. And that way it's leveled out, you understand? So let's have a look now. Now, in terms of your track and how it starts off, must be also how it finishes. So what I do here is, with saying that, all I go, all I do is I go into the track stem file of my build up where it starts. I automate it in a volume. I automate the volume in a ten percent in a ten percent fashion. One second or actually in a different fashion than I would my other percussions in my outro. Why? It's part of a different segment. So I may as well. This is the intro now. So I start off with a fast. It just goes right into the track. Although the volume is going up. It never starts off 100% volume. It starts off from zero to 100%. There we go. That's, that's the way, that's the way. So, so no matter what, you can see now, no matter what, that my track will start off. So you see, it starts off really, really in a gradual volume change. Although starting your tracks off at 100% volume is going to clip. You understand? It starts off bah, right away. Never do that. Never do that. So what you do is, for example, now with my actual build-up at the end of my track, I do the same thing, I automate it in a volume position, and I will now also leave a small gap, or let's say, with my actual, with my actual track, I will leave just a one second gap over here. Just a one second gap of where my track finishes, just a little one second gap, little gap, just to say, hey, this is the finish of my track over here, just that, just that, right here, it's a little tiny measure of space after the track's done, to say, hey, new session starting now. From that point, I'll get the pencil, 
Yasin Satan da One second. There we go. Now, the pencil is right here. This one is going to be here. And then what I do is I make sure that it gradually declines as fast as it did at the start in terms of as fast as it went into the track is as fast as it will finish in the end. Do you understand? You always have to do that. That's it. There we go. Now, in terms of that, the actual track is over here. So that's quite done. Now, let's have a look over here. How's it go? So it will start. It will start this way. It will actually go in the ending of my track this way. And we'll start off again. Oh my god. Beautiful. <laughs> it's very tricky. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. How, how it goes. That's beautiful. Now, since I have my beautiful setup, I'll save it. I'll save this and I'll just say track two arrangement. It's all mastered. And I still have to do my vocals. Arrangement. Instrumental. instrumental and I'll save that as a new FLP file and now I have my tracker over here now all I have to do is no matter what the kick all of that is set and arranged now in the outro in the outro there's just my hat the build up and also the kick that's all I can really Let's just leave that to the, be that. Why not? Now I can listen to my track. Why not? This is what I've been waiting for. Very simple track. Yeah. That's my that's my kick. That's my that's my kick. Uh, verse one very beautiful <laughs> my high pitch kick is hit actually hitting it wow For that build up too, I can leave something in there, I can put something in there, in, in that actual build up too, as it just shows the build up. Now, since, since that shows the build up there, such as that, I can place, let's see, place the hats in there, place the, place the hats, it needs something more in that actual build up too. So what I'll do is I'll just make myself some hats in the build-up too as well just to make sure A, it's actually progressing, my sound's progressing let's have a look over here it sounds beautiful so far so far so good, I love it let's have a look now 
let's have a look over here. In here, the hats. Keep the hats going. Keep the hats going there, and I'll stop it at the drop. The hats can stop at the drop, no worries. Keep it going right there. Now, since I've done that, now I have the hat inside the build up two, and that's all. That's all. Let's have a look. Start all over again. Ah, ah, I get you. I get you. Haha. <laughs> Bam, 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 bam. Beautiful sound, beautiful sound, soft grip. I did it, I did it. In this, in this video, we did it. We did it, we did it. Sound beautiful. That's beautiful transition. I love the transition there. Beautiful. the melody to go with it. Needs the melody. Along with the, the actual build up here, I will have I have to place I have to place my My melody stem inside the build up too it has to be it has to be otherwise it sounds let's say it needs more it has to be more inside that say hey it's a music track reckon you open this way so all I do now is, let's say over here, where is it? Mm -hmm. This one can be here, and let's have a look. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. I love that. That's it. That's it. Very beautiful. So the first one, the first one transition is very beautiful. Hmm. 
I'll sing over this. I'll sing over the track. Oh yeah. Why not? Let's move on. A beautiful transition. I'm grateful. Now. What what my build up to needs is the same structure. The same structure. It needs it's a little it needs to be similar to what I did in build up one right here. It needs to do that. I need to do that. Now, let's have a look over here, I'm better than it. This will go into my very simple architecture over here. There we go. That will drop. And I use the same hat. I use the same hat to be a filler. <laughs> we have to make the matter simple. So we fill up the build up, we have to fill up the build up with some instruments in order for the build up to sound much bigger and better with my own instruments. So it's my instruments. I get money for it. That's it. There we go. Now, let's start, let's start from the beginning. Let's have a look at this track. So far, sounds amazing. Thus far, my first real track ever after five years. I feel like. Starts off beautifully. Mm. So my verse one. My truck has three verses. Beautiful. My build up can have a pre chorus as well. Why not? In the lead up into the build, into the drop. Uh, pre chorus into the drop. Now, my build up two, my verse two has a different melody. It's the same melody, just more notes.
देखो फिर तो नौ दिखाओ हाँ यह देखो देखो बनो बस वही दिस इज अ कट राइट नाउ दिस इज द कट Sounds as a hostile track does. Oh, his outro. Yes, I made my first ever track. Thank you. High five. Thank you. Yes, it's time to level again. Thank you, Rod. Watch, it's repeating. It repeats now. Watch. Ah, yes, it's time to level up again. Thank you very much. So when people put it on repeat, they'll hear the drop and then the they'll hear the beat, they'll hear the build up and then the drop right away, which is amazing. So at the end, I have a build up of one bar. Goes into the intro of one bar build up and then into the drop again. <laughs> Very easy. There you go. Amazing. Better to name the track once I complete it with the vocals. Now the verses I have already, I, I, I can use. I can use this track. Why not? Wow, amazing! I'll save this file. That's it. So simple. Overrated. <laughs> Why not? When when the drop actually hits, it just looks sharp. Wow! After four years of being away from music production, before two thousand sixteen, I was music. I was doing music production for one year and six months. After four years, I came back to music production. Within eight days, I have this track. Amazing that. <laughs> My outro. There you go. Now what I can do, I can export this. As one wave file, as the instrumental version of my track. Now, hustle track two. Just say instrumental. Instrumental. And actually, before I did this track yesterday night, 
I figured out how to do it myself. Do the drop first, do the hats separately, do everything separately, put in one FL Studio nice arrangement. Here we go, it works out for me now. Very simple, very simple track now. I'm very happy, I'm not proud. I'm very happier. I'm, I'm very happy, I'm never mumbling my words. I'm much happier now than I ever was in my life. <clears throat> so let's have a look, instrumental. And it's 3 minutes 26 seconds. Will that be? I said 3 minutes and 25 seconds. There you go. Now, the volume tension, I had the volume set to the way it's supposed to be. The track is organized. I started off the track when I did the time markers in the beginning, remember? And here, within 4 hours and 30 minutes, I created a beautiful, simple track that's an instrumental version. So, now this track can go as an instrumental version of my label. It can actually be my label sound. And it's going to have me as a vocalist. So when I DJ, I'm also singing. So why not? As nobody else does that, except for me. Who else, who else sings in their tracks except for, what's the name? The, what's, what's the name? The Chainsmokers. The Chainsmokers. That's two of them. I'm one of them. I mean, I'm just one of me. I'm one of me, only. There's only one of me. Chance Burkers is two people singing together. I'm just one person. I'm more than a person. So, no matter what, that's amazing. Oh, just start straight away. I export the MP3 file here. Now I can honestly just show this around now. Money grateful. Let's have a look. Oh, wow. That's amazing. I love it. So, instrumental. Instrumental with the MP3 version, and I still have to name the file. And when I export MP3, when you export MP3, export it at 320kb kbps kilobytes per second. <clears throat> Why? Just so you can have the best MP3 version of your track, so you can always export it in any other bitrate, in any other kbps. There's a 320 kbps kilobytes per second is the bit rate for that mp3 track. So export the most quality ones so that you can export all the other ones. That's why. So here we go. Yes, we nailed it. Yes, we did. Yes, we did. Now do the vocals. I have the, I have the verse already. I have three verses to this track. It's amazing. It's very easy. Very simple. For my set, beautiful, beautiful for my set. A local one too. I have a vocal one and it goes into the verse so beautifully it's so smooth smooth transition why because of the pitch kick the pitch kick just transitioned it have no kicks in your build-ups ever I can see by this track wow well, you actually hear it, you can hear it. Because the sub bass is very amazing. Boom, 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 boom. That's what people need to hear. They need, they need to hear the sub bass. 
people can see my production with this track, it's amazing. Now, anything else? The mix it now. A little bit. A little bit the way it is. Never, never raise the volume down on any of the instruments, ever. I'll never do it. This one is, as it is, it's amazing. I just let it be. Full volume. Now you can, you can do it. For me now. A little bit. Because I pluck, because I use plucks in my melody, you can hear the hats very properly. You can hear the you can hear the bass the boost. You can hear the bass as well. The boo bass is called. <coughs> you can hear the bass in that as well. <coughs> 